Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am going to be doing my update for my Seven Deadly Pans Project Pan collab, and I will post my intro video down below if you guys want to check that out as well. I kind of explain why I chose each item and go through the beginning weights and you know what the products are, stuff like that. So if you guys want to check that out, I will leave that down below. But for now, I am going to get right into the update. So you guys know the Seven Deadly Sins are lust. Envy, Vanity, Wrath, or Vanity or Pride, Wrath, Sloth, Gluttony, and Greed. So to start off, I have Lust, and for Lust I chose two different items as one. So I chose a shave cream, the Pure Silk Rich and Luxurious Shave Cream in the scent Kiwi Berry Bliss. And then I have the Burt's Bees Fragrance Free Body Lotion for all skin types. This one's a very, very large size, but as you can see here, I've gone down quite a bit from my starting point. My starting point was there, and I've gone down to here. I use it after every shower, and sometimes on my hands, but I have another hand cream that I'm using, so most of the time after the shower, so I feel like I got some really good progress on that one. This one, I can't see any progress. I've only used it twice. I don't like shave cream. I don't use it. I put this in my project pan so I can use it up. And together, originally, these weighed together at 510 grams. Now, weighing them together just yesterday, I weighed them at 434 grams. So I think that's a really, really good, significant progress. It's almost 100 grams of product used. So I'm really, really happy about that. I feel like I did really well. I need to use this more. I think this is where the big like weight is gonna come in because it's like almost full still. I hate using shave cream. Oh, it drives me crazy. Anyways, so I feel like I'm doing good on that one. The next one I have is Envy. And for Envy, I chose the Yummy Mummy nail polish. It's actually the nail polish I have on today. I'm gonna be taking it off though because it's starting to chip. And it's actually been on for three or four days now without chipping, so I feel like I did either a really good application or I mixed it up really well or something. I'm not sure, but usually this chips right away. It's not my favorite color. It doesn't go really go with my skin tone very well. It's a very like nude skin tone type color, and I just kind of like a pop of color. If I'm going to wear nail polish, I want to wear a pop. This is the product I have for Envy. And last month I had 60 grams when weighing this product and now I have 57 grams. I've used this twice. So two applications, two coats each application. So I don't know, I feel like I'm doing okay. I still can't see any kind of progress lines or anything. So we'll see if I get through this in the next couple of months here. The next product I have here is for Vanity and it is, well, either Vanity or Pride. And it is the Balm Voyage Highlighter or Shadow. I use it as a highlighter. I love it. And it is in Kuakarabisha. I don't know. I always pronounce it weird. But here is a swatch of it. I love it so much. It's not the highlighter I have on today. But I love this highlighter. This is probably going to be one of the highlights that I bring with me to Daytona Beach. I'm so excited. And not only that, but it's going to travel well. It's going to be perfectly fine. I love it. This started out at 9 grams with the packaging, and it's also at 9 grams now. I've used it quite a bit, so I feel like I'm getting really good progress. The dip in here is quite significant. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's quite a significant dip here, and I'm really happy about my progress on this. So I'm going to keep working on that and see if I can get it done by the end of this project. My next product is Wrath, and for Wrath, I chose the Laura Geller New York Eye Calligraphy Liquid Eyeliner in Black. This one's getting really dried out. See, like just now when I swatched it, it wasn't dried out at all. But when I used it on my eyes the other day, it's getting really dried out and the felt tip pen is like bending a little bit so I can't get that nice cat eye line that I'm looking for. I think this is gonna be gone by like the next use probably. And then I am going to substitute in the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Liner Noir. And this is also a felt tip liner. They are my favorite. And here's a swatch of that one there. 
Um, I don't know. I haven't really used this that much, but it's in my collection and I need to use it up. So that's my plan is once this one, the Laura Geller one is gone, I'm going to substitute in this one to try to get it out of my collection as well. So hopefully I'll have two done by the end of the project. And this one, I know it's almost gone as well because it originally weighed in at nine grams and now it's weighing in at six grams. So that means I used it quite a bit. I mean, I'm trying to think of how many times I used it. Probably four or five, maybe six times. But yeah, it's getting pretty darn dried out, unfortunately. I really like that one, but not when it dries out. It's terrible, just like any other liquid eyeliner. And the product I chose for Sloth is the Neutrogena Moisture Stick color stick in the shade 110 almond nude i really like this i wore this all day at work today and it's so pretty it applies so nicely and easily it's very moisturizing i didn't have to put on chapstick at all today which was really nice and when it rubs off it rubs off really well and really evenly and it doesn't look crazy <laughs> you know what i mean when it rubs off so i really do appreciate this one and like i said once this one's gone i'm probably going to repurchase but i'm using it up right now i still haven't really got any visible usage out of this it's still pretty much the exact same that it was but yeah i'm gonna keep working on it and see how much i can use up the next sin that i have is gluttony and for gluttony i chose the real her 2 shadow palette in do your squats because if you're a glutton you should work out just saying like i was today dinner was so good <laughs> just saying but this is what the palette looks like and i've used it so many times i've been pairing this palette with basically every other palette that i'm using right now just to kind of get some more usage out of this and it pairs so well with other palettes truly like it's such a good palette I don't know, I've really been enjoying this. I'm also probably gonna bring this to Florida with me to try to get some more usage out of it. But I feel like any palette I bring with this one is gonna look good. So I'm really happy with this one. But the weight of this is 130 grams the last time and it is still 130 grams. So I haven't really used much <laughs> product. I've used it quite a few number of times. I pretty much use it every day that I'm wearing makeup, which is about five days a week. And yeah, I've really been loving it, so I have no complaints with continuing to use this product. The very last item I have in this project pan is my e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Face Primer. And this is the product that I chose for greed. First of all, because it's green for greed money, right? I don't know. Anyways, I've really been enjoying this primer. I wear this primer when I'm feeling like my skin is pretty hydrated. I won't wear this primer if my skin is really dry. So I have no problem wearing this. I really like it. It's really soft on the face when you apply it and I just, I really enjoy it. So I have no complaints about this product at all. I'm actually gonna be a little sad when it's gone. So I am using this and the first check-in, it was 68 grams, and now it is 65 grams. So I've used up 3 grams worth of product, and yeah, I'll just continue to use it and continue to enjoy it. So those were all of the products that I have for my 7 Deadly Sins update for you guys. This was the first update for me. I know if you're following anybody else, this would have been their second update, but I started a month late, so this is my first update. And I hope you guys enjoyed and are loving these Project Pan videos as much as I am, because I'm just loving using up some of, my, some of the products in my collection. So make sure to let me know down below if you guys are doing a pan as well, and I will love to check those out. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.